Welcome to NBC 26 News at 6. I'm Nina Sperano reporting tonight from the Fox City Stadium in Grand Chute. It's the site for the 2023 Fox City's Walk to End Alzheimer's on Sunday morning. 55 million people worldwide are living with Alzheimer's and other dementias. Well, just like cancer, dementia is caused by diseases and it doesn't just affect older people. Early onset Alzheimer's can affect people in their 30s and 40s. I got a chance to meet a caregiver in Green Bay who opened my eyes to what really happens to a person after an early onset diagnosis, what they go through, and the profound sacrifices made by a husband to honor his vow of in sickness and in health. Rhonda Sutherland, a wife, a mother, a local teacher. Well, this was about 2016. And this was? That was uh, probably 2018. God, that is just a dramatic yeah, change in her <laughs> from yeah. here to here. Yeah, keep going. And this is Rhonda Sutherland just a few years later, after early onset Alzheimer's had taken its toll. A little later, you can tell she's a little mm -hmm. more out of it. Things went south fast. Isn't it? Yes, I know. Rhonda was just 52 when the signs started to surface and officially diagnosed at 56. She started to uh, repeat herself all the time, started asking the same questions over and over again, wouldn't answer simple questions like what time it is. I mean, as it turns out, she couldn't tell time that she had lost the capacity to tell time. Just before their 40th wedding anniversary, Rob knew it was no longer safe for his wife to live at home, so he placed Rhonda into memory care. She died December 22nd, 2022, and this is, I got her outside on a good day. Is it nice outside, <laughs> huh? Yeah. I love you, Rhonda Isley. Rhonda Joy. Yeah, having a good day, aren't you? Five months after this video was taken, Rhonda passed away. And Mari and Robert and Max, I love you very much. Right, Rhonda? Hey? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> gives you the, the horrors of the, the disease and where she went and where she ended up. Uh, so, and when she passed away, that was pretty much the condition she was in. She was 66 years old. Finally, the brain shut down enough for nothing else where she, where she just forgot how to swallow, forgot how to eat, and and, uh, and I'd like to think, and it seemed at least at the time, peacefully passed away after a, a long, tough battle with this uh, dreadful disease. When Rhonda was diagnosed, there wasn't much they could do for her back then, but today there's more research and medicine available that if caught early enough, can actually slow the progression of early onset Alzheimer's disease. Rob Sutherland is sharing the details of his wife's devastating battle not to shock, but to inform. Once people, I think, get the feel and understand that Alzheimer's isn't, isn't the disease of the elderly, it affects uh, many, many ages. If people start to understand that, maybe then they'll start paying attention. I'd love an extra six months with Rhonda. <laughs> you know, I'd have, I'd have done anything for that. But that's what, that's what can happen now if you catch it early enough. You can make it, it can certainly make a difference. Now is the time to raise money for the research to end this disease. Join me for the 2023 Walk to End Alzheimer's this Sunday, October 8th, right here at Fox City Stadium on North Castleloma Drive in Grand Chute. Opening ceremony begins at 9.40 a.m. The walk begins at 10. You can find a link to register on our website. Just go to NBC26.com.